All right, here we go. Augment code CLI Augie. You can see it indexes. So we got augment codes, great context engine, what really sets it apart in this CLI as well. Um, this is my first time using it too. I mean, personally, I much prefer this CLI to VS Code just feels very bloated a lot of the time. So hopefully this will be better. You can press the slash command to see a bunch of these commands that we can do. Um, this one, GitHub workflow, this seems pretty unique and cool. Set up GitHub workflows for PR automation. I'm really interested to try this out. So let's, let's click that. Okay, then we get into this wizard, GitHub workflow generation, select an action. We can have one describe PRs automatically to generate descriptions for all pull requests, or we can have one review PRs to automatically generate reviews. I think the review sounds more useful to me. I'm going to select that one. Next step, select a trigger. When should they run? When a new PR is created or when label is added? Um, let's just have it on new PR so every PR gets reviewed. I think that's fine. Uh, next, include draft PRs. Sure, I mean, that's the only option here. Sounds good. Okay, your workflow has been successfully generated. However, it needs a GitHub secret to work with the Augment API. So I'll need to configure this session file and they actually guide us through it, which is nice. Step one, get your session file. Press C to copy the session file. Okay, press C, session file copied. Step two, navigate to GitHub settings. So yeah, we just set the session off and the secret, add the secret, and we should have the repository secret here. We can continue this. Now it does say we need to commit and push these changes, so make sure you do that when you get to the end, press S. And we could actually tell Augment to push changes and it should be able to do that. Okay, great, that was done. Let's create a new fresh conversation. And this is just a blank um, repository. So we're just gonna give a very simple prompt here just to make a pull request. Update the readme, make this into a pull request back into main branch. Okay. So I'll kick that off, a very simple change, just updating a readme file and making a pull request into main just so we can see how easy it was to set up this Augie CLI agent to run in GitHub workflows, GitHub actions. So it can trigger on every pull request and automatically review each pull request using Augment's great context engine. All right, looks like that's done. Let's have a look at the pull request. All right, here we can see the pull request that I made. And this is the GitHub action that was automatically triggered. So giving a review of the changes and also some suggestions as well. Very nice. Obviously, this was a very simple example of just a readme change, but you could see this being very useful um, to do like quality assurance, security checks and all that automated thanks to the CLI running on GitHub actions. So yeah, clearly you can use the CLI and ask it any question, tell it to make any change in the code as if you would the augment agent in VS code. But what you can also do is run it through the command line and set it up in automations yourself and scripts. So I have a pre-release version, so it'll probably look very different once this is out um, in the public. But if you go dash dash help, you can get all the flags that you can run the CLI with. Okay, let's see what if there's anything cool in here. Workspace root, you can set different uh, root directories for your workspace. I'm pretty sure you need to be in a workspace that has a Git repository. So do note that, yeah, auto to text Git repositories. Rules, you can set up rules files, kind of like the guidelines. You can set up an, an instruction or an instruction file. That's pretty cool. And for output, you have some options here. Compact, print. Oh, that's really cool. That's pretty cool. You can continue from previous sessions, uh, set up your MCPs. This is quite cool. Let's try giving it an instruction. Instruction, this, like what is this project about? Let's see how that goes. Ah, uh, you can see it still triggers this and you get to see it working. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to see it working. You can see in the default mode, it does kind of give a lot of lines of text. So I'm really curious to see how the compact mode Okay, so if you use just instruction, it does put you in interactive mode. Yeah, it looks like we can do non-interactive or just print results. 
So we can give that same instruction, but with the print command, it won't take us into the interactive mode anymore. So I think this is useful for when you're scripting it and you want to run automations. So there you go. It just outputs all the response. It doesn't stay in interactive mode. Let's see what other output formats there was. Maybe compact print. That would be interesting. Let's see what happens if we combine print with compact. Will that make much difference? Oh yeah, this does seem much smaller. You just see the tool call, but don't actually view the tool call. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like that. I like the compact and print combination. I can definitely see this being very useful in automations. Um, yeah, those are just two two examples. And yeah, and also this is just a very early preview. This has only been in development for I think a month or less. So quite a long way to go before there's like feature parity with tools like Claude Code. But I think we have some great engineers working on this and a great context engine to back it up. So definitely going to be a player to watch out for.